Today let's talk about three easy sweeps you can do either with gi or without gi. I'm going to show you without gi first. Push, sweep. First one I want to talk about is called deyashi hirai. Deyashi hirai means advancing foot sweep, meaning I am attacking whichever foot he has forward. Okay. Now for this, I want the inside wheel clinch. I've got one hand up here, and I've got one hand on the inside at his bicep. So now, nice control here. Great spot for Muay Thai. Great spot for Judo. I'm gonna have head buried just in case because I don't want to catch any wild punches. And I'm gonna take a step, and I'm gonna prompt him to take a step as well by pushing him with the elbow on the chest, like so. Now it offsets our feet. Notice his right foot is forward. I'm gonna transition my weight to that lead foot. My left foot is gonna make contact with the outside of his right, and I'm curling, so the bottom of my foot is touching the top of his foot. I'm gonna push it to the side. This hand pulls down, and the head guides down as well. All together, inside wheel, push, sweep. Other side, so I'm pushing with the elbow, push, sweep. Now the great part of Deyashi Hirai is I can take this either direction by sweeping either foot. So I've still got that same grip here and here, but this time instead of pushing his head, I'm going to take the head and I'm going to pull it as I lift this arm as if I'm trying to put his shoulder into his ear. So this time I push and let's say that he steps back with the other foot and it's not what I was expecting. Oh crap, that's fine. I switch to the front foot, I'm going to sweep, and I'm going to pull him down and turn him. One more time. So he's going to have his left foot forward. Easy sweep. Works great for any type of martial art. You have smacking heads, right? Next one I'd like to teach you is called Osotogari. Osotogari means major outside reap. And I'm going to assume that same position. Got the inside wheel clinch, arm on the inside, head around, hand around his head. So you can see better. Step around. Now, for this sweep, I want this foot forward. Now, if that foot's back, I can still do it. It's just a little bit of extra work. So like before, I'm going to try to get him to take a step. Now from here, I'm going to step my left foot just beside his right foot. Put my weight on the left foot. So this right foot is free to move. And I'm going to swing it like a pendulum. At the same time, I'm going to draw this elbow inward towards my belly button. And I'm going to turn his head back so it bends him, off balance him, and sweep him down. One more time, inside wheel, step through, other side, now notice he had that right foot back that time, I had to travel a lot farther, so stand with your right foot back, so if he's there, I gotta go way over here and make it happen, it's doable, but it's easier if you can expose that leg. Now you can do this takedown nice and easy, like we're doing now, or you can add a little bit of extra oomph once you get more comfortable with it. Just be wary of smacking heads, right? <clears throat> All right, the third sweep I want to talk about is called Sasai Ashi. It means propping foot or propping leg. Ashi refers to the knee down. Now this is the same idea as the Ashi Hirai, but rather than sweeping his foot to the side, I'm going to stick my foot in front and I'm going to force him to trip over the top while I move out of the way, take him over the top. Now this can be done either from the inside wheel position or the full tie clinch. I'm going to do it from the inside wheel just for the sake of consistency. Now let's do other side. Now watch this footwork on the transition. This is important. So I just want to turn him around. Uh, go ahead and get your grip. I'm going to step to the outside of his pinky toe and I'm going to swing my leg back as I turn around and I'm going to bring him with me right there. Great movement in general. Guess what? That's exactly what we're doing for Sasayashi. So I'm going to do the same thing. Got my grip, head buried. 
step off to the corner of his pinky toe, and I'm going to do that footwork where I take him around. The only difference is I'm going to leave my right foot here. So as he steps forward, go ahead and step forward. It's going to run into that foot, right? So we're here, inside wheel, step, turn, and guide him down. Wherever the head goes, the body follows. So his head's going to get way over the top of that foot. One more time. Now, it's not always going to be such a pretty fall. Sometimes they get sort of dragged to the ground, which is okay. It might end up a little uglier. Something like that. That's fine. You're still getting them down. So. One more time. Hand on the head. Hand on the inside. This hand pulls. This hand lifts. My foot steps off. And I'm going to turn around, but I'm leaving my foot in place altogether. <laughs> 